uh, an ICRC team uh, went to Idlib at the end of December. Uh, and it was our first visit since six months. It took us still nine hours and a half from Damascus to reach Idlib city, whereas in normal situations, it would take us less than four hours. The road was completely deserted. And on the road, we saw two to three villages which were empty of inhabitants. Uh, houses were destroyed. We visited uh, the uh, hospital uh, of uh, the Syrian Arab Red Crescent. Now there are only two hospitals um, functioning in Idlib city, out of nine who were functioning before uh, the conflict. The volunteers of the Syrian Arab Red Crescent and the personnel of the hospital, the health personnel, told us there is no electricity and no water since 12 days. Some equipment also were damaged because of the fighting and they uh, lack a lot of uh, um, medicines for chronic diseases, especially for children, and they requested also medical material. The number of the displaced population has tripled, if not more, in Idlib city. The majority of the displaced population is um, hosted by relatives, some family members, friends, and others are sheltered in schools and public buildings who lack the basic uh, uh, installations and sanitation. Definitely, with what we saw, the acute needs of the, the population in Idlib city, and uh, knowing that there are even further needs in several rural areas of Idlib governorate, definitely the ICRC needs to go back and to provide assistance to all those in need.